Well, usually when you think of the hit TV show, The Vicar of Dibley, you immediately associate comedian Dawn French with that popular show from England. However, at Club and Angle last Saturday night, The Vicar of Dibley was starring Angus Garrard with a perfect drive. I caught up with Angus to congratulate him on that particular effort and see whether he can repeat it at Club and Angle this Saturday night. Well, Angus, first of all, congratulations on that drive last week with the Vicar Dibley. Buried away four pegs, but you managed to manoeuvre your way into the centre of the track and the rest is history. No, thank you. She uh, raced really well, which I thought she would. We just sort of got a slice of luck at the right time and then she proved too strong. Yeah, it was a very impressive win at the end. Yeah, no, she is a really nice mare. We got a lot of time for her. Just sort of had a lot of problems with her over the last 12 months, so it's sort of good to see her at her best. Angus, you didn't have to wait long to produce a carbon copy drive, of course. Instant delights, finished off very strongly to win the trot. No, nah, she raced really well. She's another one that's sort of um, been racing quite well. They had a lot of luck and, um, you know, she was at her best today. To the first at Club Angle on Saturday night, you've drawn the car park with Classy Washington. Queensland Ford was sound during the carnival and certainly wasn't disgraced here last time out. Yeah, no, he's been racing really good for a while. He's just sort of come back and run into Leap to Fame a few times, but... Uh, you know, his run here on Saturday night was pretty good, but I do think he needed it. He's sort of trained well this week so far and, and seemed really bright, so I think that run will bring him on. Over to one of the feature events, race five for the three-year-old Phillies final for the uh, Challenge Blue. Soap opera, outstanding performance last time out. Did a bit of work, still proved too strong. Yeah, no, she's a really good filly and she was back to her best last time, so, you know, all, all reports are she's been good since then, so, you know, despite the car park, I think she'll still run a really good race. Darren Weiss had this particular filly enjoying a wonderful juvenile career and then she just lost away. Yeah, no, she did a good job as a two-year-old and came back at three and won the APG in Queensland and, and she came down here for a little while and, and just got a bit crook and things went wrong but, um, you know, I think they've sort of got her under control now and it's really good to see her back to her best. As you said, you got a bad draw but you had, didn't hesitate in letting her move out three wide then into the death last time out. Similar tactics or you just have to see how the race unfolds? Oh, look, we're just going to have to play it by ear. It'll sort of be tempo-based from out there. But, um, you know, if we can get forward sort of um, in front of a few without doing too much again, I think she'll race well from wherever. Over to race six, and here we go. So, Tilly, solid four once again in Queensland. Then certainly was a disgrace here last week in the Eureka qualifying, finishing fifth behind Chawthin Captain. Yeah, he's been flying for ages. You just can never get a barrier draw. So, uh, you know, hopefully sort of that's fallen in our favour Saturday night. Hopefully we can use it. Yeah, Gabe, one, there's two important scratchings here, Nyack and Whisper Secret already. Whisper Speaker going into the Eureka, courtesy of the unfortunate happenings with Fighter Command. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, sort of obviously pretty sad to hear about Fighter Command, but Whisper Secret's a great horse as well, and I sort of don't think we're too far off him, so I think that puts us right in the stockade. Speaking of the Eureka, Angus, what's your thoughts? Um, I think it's really even. Um, it'll sort of be interesting to see what happens. Uh, you know, never ending with Super over here. You can't knock what he's done so far. And, you know, probably him drawing out wide sort of evens the race up a little bit, makes it a bit more interesting. But, um, you know, there's a stack in there that are flying. Major Delight, you can't knock her form. I Keep Smiling, just been flying for ages. Um, Don Hugo, all those horses, you know, they've just been racing really good. And it's going to be sort of a really tricky race to work out. As always, Gary Hall Jr., confident about the his drive never ending and he said doesn't matter where he draws he's going to be the one to beat yeah look i'm sure he raced good you know you sort of don't hear junior talk about him like that unless they're very good so um i'd be surprised if he doesn't go very close but he's sort of probably going to have to do a bit of work at some time well i guess what's the best of them from uh, your point of view as far as your drives um i think probably regatta daitili from the draw but um you know there's probably not really much between his chances and soap opera just she's got the car park no doubt you'll produce one of those special drives again. Good luck and thanks for joining us. Thank you.